Welcome to Epic Conquerors. Your host, Dr. Judy Bauer and Chad Smanjack. You are epic. Everything is possible in Christ. The battle is real. The victory is assured. Welcome to all our Epic Conquerors, and thank you once again for joining Mama J and myself, Chad, on the Epic Conquerors podcast, where everything is possible in Christ. Hallelujah. That's right. Gen 4 rubber duck. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome to be fully alive in Jesus. I love it so Amen. much. Amen. That's yeah. what gives you all that energy, Mama J. You I are think so. by the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I would have to agree. I would have to agree. Well, yeah. Chad, in the last podcast that we recorded, uh, we did part one of Psalm 37, which is a psalm of uh, of wisdom that was sung. So it was literally a song and it's actually an acrostic Psalm in the Hebrew because every other verse would be the next letter of the Hebrew alphabet that it would start with. We don't see it that way in our English. So it doesn't connect with us in the same way that it would have with them. But what the scripture does give us is so powerful. It's a Psalm of contrast. Psalm of contrast. Contrast yeah. between the wicked and the righteous. That's it. Yeah. Like you said earlier, you're going to serve someone. So make sure you're serving the Lord. The Lord, all God Almighty, not the God of this world. Yeah. yeah. He, he's yeah. an imposter, actually. <laughs> the creator of all things. That's right. The devil's an imposter, isn't he? Mm. He is. Yeah. That's why everything, that's why, like we always say, that's why it's the Antichrist spirit. Yeah. So, and everything's opposite, right? Because he's not only is he is he, he doesn't even have any imagination. He can't even create anything. He has yeah. to just pop it and turn it upside down. Yeah, he just tries to pervert it. Yep. It's like a lot of times uh, over the years with my ministry of CAM, Kingdom Advancement Ministries, how many different times people have tried to reimagine it and make it their own and it falls flat. You, it, the counterfeit will always fall flat. Always. <laughs> always. And yeah. uh, so it's that's just his MO. He just, like you said, he can't create anything fresh. And he's jealous of us that we can because with the Holy Spirit, God gives us creative inventions, witty inventions. And yeah. um, he's jealous of us so much that he just, uh, he wants to just take us out. He's so jealous. Yeah, I mean, the deep-seated hatred, like you said, that he has for us because of mm. what he gave us eternally and like gave us the Holy Spirit that. Yeah. It's like, it is Drives him nuts, so that's why he's so crazy. Why he's running around the earth like a crazy man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stirring up chaos everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> anyway, in our last podcast, we did verses 1 through 19. And this is a 40 verse psalm. So we're going to do verses 20 through 40. And usually we do our podcast many times now since I wrote the Quiet Brook devotional with using those different devotionals. But in this particular two podcasts, we just wanted to kind of let the word of God wash through us by reading it. We do that from time to time. And it's a healthy thing to do because a lot of times when we preach either in the pulpit or even in our podcast or whatever, we pull out a verse here and a verse there and we talk around it. But sometimes it's good just to read the whole context Mm -hmm. and just get the whole flavor of that passage that the Holy Spirit has written here for us. And so that's why we do this from time to time as well. So verse 20, we're going to start there. You want to go for it, Chad, and just read down. Right, five or six talking. verses, and then we'll talk about it, and then go to the Holy next part and so on. Spectacles yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. When you get of a certain age, epic conquerors, it seems like uh, glasses start becoming a, a thing that we do. Have to should. submit right. to. <laughs> there we go. All the enemies of God will perish. Amen. For the wicked have only a momentary value, a fading glory. Then one day they vanish. Yet today, gone tomorrow. They break their promises, borrowing money, but never paying it back. The good man returns what he owes with some extra besides. The Lord's blessed ones receive it all in the end. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the cursed ones will be cut off with nothing to show for themselves. 
The steps of the God pursuing ones follow firmly in the footsteps of the Lord. And God delights in every step they take to follow him. Wow, that's so powerful. There's another translation that says in that verse 23, where in this translation, the Passion Translation, it says the steps of the God pursuing ones. But in the other translation I was looking at, it says the march of the warriors Ooh, follows I... firmly in the footsteps of the Lord, which he is the commander of the armies of, of God, right? So that's kind of a neat picture that when we are walking in the steps of the Lord, we're his warriors uh, going somewhere to happen in Jesus name. And God takes delight in every step we take. That's really awesome. Let's move along on verse 24. Okay. If they stumble badly, they will still survive. For the oh, Lord... hallelujah. We should stop right there and read that again. <laughs> <laughs> if they stumble badly, they badly. Will still... if we they stumble will still badly, survive. they will still survive. For the Lord lifts them up with his hands. Epic Conqueror, if you've ever stumbled badly in life, no one is exempt from experiencing that. Take heart today. You're going to survive it, but you're also going to have victory in it because the Lord will lift you up with his hands. Wow, that's so powerful. I love it. Uh, that uh, that uh, verse, God, Lord will reach down with his righteous right hand. And yes. Pray. Yes. Beautiful. All right, verse 25. I was once young, but now I'm old. Oh, well, maybe I should have read that one. <laughs> <laughs> once have I found a lover of God forsaken by him, nor have any of their children gone hungry. Instead, I found the godly ones to be the generous ones who give freely to others. Their children are blessed and become a blessing. If you truly want to dwell forever in God's presence, Forsake evil and do what is right in his eyes. The Lord loves it when he sees us walking in his justice. He will never desert his devoted lovers. They will be kept forever in his faithful care. But the descendants of the wicked will be banished. Mm. The faithful lovers of God will inherit the earth and enjoy every promise of God's care, dwelling in peace forever. God lovers make the best counselors. Their words possess wisdom and are right and truthful, tr trustworthy. The ways of God are in their hearts and they won't swerve from the paths of steadfast righteousness. Wow, there was so much in those few verses, about six verses there, of just how powerful God is with us when we are God lovers. Jesus mm -hmm. said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. So God lovers doesn't mean that we just go, oh, I love you, Jesus. But it means that we love him to such a degree that we just can't help ourselves, but we want to do what he tells us to do because it brings us great joy to bless him. So in th that kind of posture, all of these blessings come, Chad. Wow. Mm -hmm. The commitment, you know, when you commit it to God and to God and to the righteousness, then that's what you receive. Yeah. He said he'll never desert his devoted lovers. So if we're devoted to God, we can rest on that promise. God will never desert us. And we know he's with us 24-7, but sometimes the circumstances of life are of such nature that we have that tendency to sometimes listen to the enemy's words that God's not helping you out of this one. <laughs> Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. And he knows that. I mean, the, the, the thing is, he's, he, he already knows how we operate. So he's like, in your, yeah, you see, I told you, he's not coming. He's not coming. He's, 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 he's. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And we just have to say, shut up. Yeah, you almost have to go back to like when, when Jesus, when he said, I'll give you everything, right? And he's, Jesus said, come on, stop yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I already got him. I don't need you to give me anything. <laughs> yeah. And everything Jesus said to him, he quoted scripture to him. And so that's why we also need to know the word of God. So we quote the word when those kind of uh, fiery darts are coming at our brain and our, our emotions. Instead mm -hmm. of giving voice to what it's trying to tell us, we give voice to the word of God. And it breaks off the stronghold of that, the chains of that. 20, where were we, 30? I love it where it says there in verse uh, 31 about God lovers make the best counselors. Their words possess wisdom and are right and trustworthy. Mm -hmm. 
And if you follow the Lord for any length of time and go through the trials of life and you stay strong in the Lord through it and you have victory after victory as you move along through life, you learn a lot of things. Um, and that gives you wisdom then that you can now help other people with. And they go, wow, how did you know I needed to hear that today? Well, what they don't know is a few decades ago, you went through something similar and you you know what brought you through that. So that's how you can speak to it. So I think this is such a powerful promise for all of us that no matter what you're going through, God will take advantage of that situation and he's going to use it to flow through you to bring comfort and encouragement and wisdom to others along your the rest of your journey in life and intersect you with people that just need to hear exactly from you what you went through. And then, oh, it brings you such joy when you see how, what I went through, look at that now, it's helping this person, it's helping Mm -hmm. that person, and it really makes it all worth it. It really does. Mm -hmm. And sometimes for no other reason, that's why you had to actually go through that journey. That's right, yeah. That next person who you have no idea why, but they're obviously going to do something else with that, that the Lord had lined up for that. So, Which really speaks to us the volume of faith and trust that God has in us, that he knows that he can let us go through these hard places and he trusts and has enough faith and confidence in us that our love for him will hold steady and we'll come out of it without even the smell of smoke without getting eaten for lunch by the hungry lions. (laughs) So that we will then be able to take that and, turn it into wisdom to help other people. So God has a lot of confidence in us more than we have in ourselves, I think. Amen. Okay, verse 32 down to 40. Let's just go for it. Evil ones spy on the godly ones, stalking them to find something they can use to accuse them. They're out for the kill. Oh, we got to stop there with that verse though for a minute. (laughs) Chad, do we see this in our world today? I do. The enemy works so much overtime stalking the godly ones to find something that he could use to accuse them because he wants to take them out. And we see that in the political arena everywhere in the world. We see that in businesses and in organizations. And we see it in the church where the enemy uses people to try to find some dirt on them or something they can use to just wreck their lives and destroy them and kill them off. How many times have we read in the last year or two where, especially during the COVID time and all of those, you know, if you didn't get vax or whatever, just looking for ways to find so they could get you kicked out and just the ways the rules are changing. Uh, Heads of companies had to resign and lose their jobs because of some person's offense or something. I mean, ah, it just was like you're walking on hot coals all the time uh, sometimes because the enemy is running around looking for whom he can devour. Yeah. But God, we have That's to stay awesome. strong in the Lord even through those kind of times and then watch what God does and how he vindicates. And then we hear stories then of how God has turned some of those situations around and those people ended up suing the ones that, whatever, and got millions. So now they're able to do philanthropic activities and other things uh, as a result. So yeah, you can't outsmart God. You just stick straight with God, even though the enemy thinks he's got it going on. Like we said last podcast, God's laughing. It's like, psh, you, yeah, you don't, you don't have the upper hand, dude. You don't. Because <laughs> he'll turn all those things around and use them for our good. Yeah, that's what the next verse says, verse 33. Oh, there we go. But God will foil all the plots. The godly will not stand condemned when brought to trial. So don't be impatient for the Lord to act. Keep moving forward steadily in his ways, Mm -hmm. and he will exalt you at the right time. Amen. And when he does, you will possess every promise, including your full inheritance. Praise God. Your watch with your own eyes and see the wicked lose everything. I've already seen this happen. Once I saw a wicked and violent man overpower all who were around him, a domineering tyrant with his pride and oppressive ways. Then he died and was forgotten. Now no one cares that he's gone forever. 
but you can tell who are the blameless and spiritually mature. What a different story for them. The godly ones will have a peaceful, prosperous future with a happy ending. Every evil sinner will be destroyed, obliterated. They'll be utter, they'll be utter failures with no future. Mm. But the Lord will be the savior of all who love him. Even in their time of trouble, God will live in them as strength. Because of their faith in him, their daily portion will be a father's help and deliverance from evil. This is true for all who turn to hide themselves in him. Wow. That's such powerful stuff right there. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot, but it's so rich. I love that. Verse 40, because of our faith in God, our daily portion will be a father's help and deliverance from evil. Any of us that have had a good father uh, in our life know how precious a dad is. And to know and understand that God, our Heavenly Father, is our Abba, Daddy. Uh -huh. And to know that He's always got us and is there to protect us and to watch over us like a dad does over his family and so on. That is so comforting. But mm -hmm. maybe there's some epic conquerors out there and you didn't have a dad like that. And so you don't understand that and you have some trust issues along that line. Let me just encourage you to continue to just lean into the Lord and let him teach you what it is to have a good father who looks after his own children and uh, learn to see how you can trust God with your life. And he will bless you in that way. And it brings you so much comfort to have a dad mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah. Yeah. When I was, I mean, when I was, when I was going through what I was seeing there, it's so important. Like the theme that show up is, is like the patience is to have the patience because sometimes like when things aren't going your way, right, you tend to want to do it, take it into your own hands. So have that patience and have that stillness just to be there and to just wait on him, to wait on the Lord. You know, that's so, it's such a, I think that is such a great, um, uh, what do you call it, a routine to have or, or like way of dealing with things like that. Because I think one of the things is when we feel that things aren't happening the way we want them to happen, we tend to jump in and like, oh, I'd like this then. And that's when it you know, becomes a problem. Yeah. Don't lean on your own understanding. Lean on the, and lean into God every time things yeah. show up. Yeah. And we can always tell which one is the devil and which one is God, because the devil wants to push you and hurry up to make a decision and, push you, push you, and make you feel like you're going to miss out. F-O-M-O, -F what is it? Fear of missing out or something? FOMO. <laughs> FOMO, FOMO. Whereas God leads us and guides us, and there's peace with his ways. But the enemy is always just like, you know, a nagging wife or something, you know, <laughs> trying to push you into something. But God leads gently and guides you. So that's how you can tell the difference sometimes when we that's, that's are feeling that intensity. Up. Mm -hmm. That's a good skill to know and to internalize what you just said there, Mama Jay, because sometimes when you feel like you have to make a decision and if you're feeling that anxiety and that rush, whatever, then you probably should take a step back and think that this is not right. Because but if you're making a decision and you have that sense of peace and tranquility, then maybe that's something yeah. different. Yeah, then keep following that for a while and see where the Lord opens that up for you. But yeah, whenever you're feeling pushed, uh, that's not the way God does it. When God speaks, his faith flows. And if God needs to tell us some direction when he speaks, there is such faith and peace in that, that it, it just lends itself to, yes, this is the right thing to do. Whereas when we're all stressed out and everything's gobbled up and everything, like you said, we should take a step back and just wait on the Lord then and just be calm about it until we really get that green light from the Lord. Cause sometimes the Lord gives us a yellow light. It's like, just wait. And then sometimes he gives us a full out red light to stop in your tracks. Don't move <laughs> because God wants to work some things out. And sometimes more people are involved in the situation than just you. And it takes a minute to get them all in position for that thing to work out. So that's where we have to lean on the Lord, like you said, and just trust his timetable because it's probably going to be different than what we had wanted. <laughs>
Yeah, he, he, that's that's a given for sure. Our timetable, Rip, he's like, he's like, now, nah, today or tomorrow. He's timetable. Yeah, we wanted it yesterday, but the Lord says, ah, four more days. Yeah. yeah. Take a bit of time. You just kick back there, son or daughter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Mary and Martha, that Lord, if you'd have just been here, our brother wouldn't have died. Jesus loitered four more days before he got there on purpose because um, his timing was going to bring about the glory of God. So same for us, epic conquerors. Sometimes God's timing is way different than what we had thought was the right time, but he'll always be on time. His timing is always perfect as we see when we look backwards. Yeah. There's a reason that rear everything. view look. <laughs> the rear view looks amazing. Yeah. You're like, whew, thank goodness he didn't do that when I asked him to. That would have been so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where we learn the wisdom and yeah. stuff that we apply in verse 31. Yeah. Lord, I need this down. I need this down. And then, and then when you look back, you're like, whew, so happy you didn't give it to me then. Yeah. Things would have been so much worse. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready for it. I see that now, Lord. Thank yeah. you for thank protecting you. me as a good father. <clears throat> you know, because sometimes fathers have to tell their kids no. And sometimes fathers have to tell their kids you need to wait because you're not ready for that responsibility yet. You know, fathers have to be the tough love sometimes because they see from a different perspective for the protection of their child and our Heavenly Father is the same way with us. Yeah, he sure is. Yes, he is. So we're learning that. So our power affirmation for this podcast is the same as part one of this one. Okay. On Psalm 37, which is God is my source. I cannot fail. Yes. So we're going to drum roll, everybody. Let's do it. Let's party. Let's have some fun here. God is my source. That should bring us great joy. No matter what you're going through, God said in the first half of this psalm, no matter what, he's going to bring us through. So God is our source. We cannot fail. Ah, that's awesome news. Good news. Here we mm -hmm. go. Drum roll on the count of three. We're going to shout it out. And if you're in a room full of people, just whisper shout. <laughs> and if that's even too loud because of the situation you're in, then shout it in your head. But just really make this proclamation because it's so powerful. Here we go. Drum roll. One, two, three. God is my source. I cannot fail. That's so good. I love it. Love it so much. All right. What's your weapon, Chad? Spiritual weapon out of this last 20 verses in Psalm 37. My spiritual weapon is stick close to God. Stick close to God. Like glue, huh? Like glue. Like glue. Like Velcro. Yeah. Just stick on. That's a good one. My weapon is generosity of spirit just really because he said there in the first part the first few verses we looked at that when somebody um the good man returns what he owes with some extra besides and uh man we just see that that's the nature of god isn't it generosity of spirit god gives us so freely abundantly so much and we should carry on that same attribute and if we have a generosity of spirit we're going to always have everything we need because you can't outgive God. You he will be in debt to no man. Yep. Face down, overflowing. Yep. Running together. Enjoying the, enjoying the prosperity of the righteous. Yes, that's beautiful. Yeah. Just having the peace of God in the midst of your trials is you can't put a price tag on that. Um, because even people with all the money in the world, when they go through life crises, they can't buy their way out of some of that stuff. Yeah. No. You know what they say, Mama J, you know, that nothing matters if you get ill. So mm. if, when you're sick, you, your money can't help you. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you can, if you're going through a serious, like a divorce or whatever, you're generally, mm -hmm. your yeah. You yeah. yeah. It's all become all these, all these different layers that you put around you, they all disappear when, when the real trial sets in. Yeah. We've all learned that. <laughs> we have. When they come and knocking, it's all gone. Then you better make sure that you can stand on the word of God because that's, that's right. all you got. That's right. That's why we know the battle is real. 
but the victory, victory is-, is assured. Amen. So that's good. So generosity of spirit and stick close to the Lord. Those are amazing weapons that the devil's always trying to get us to not do. He's trying to separate us from God and he's trying to get us to be stingy and hold back because what about tomorrow? You might not have enough. It's like, well, God's mercies are new for me tomorrow. I'm going to be generous today. God will take care of my tomorrow. Yeah. So we're not going to fall for his little traps. So this was an awesome podcast and it's a wonderful thing to go through these Psalms every now and then. And I'm sure it happens with you, Chad, and probably all of our epic conquerors, but this, the Holy Spirit will just roll up on the inside of you with a, a scripture reference and, Psalm 37 is one that rolls up in my spirit every now and then. And when I turn to it and start reading it, yep, brings me right back to the plumb line of just trusting the Lord and let my heavenly father be my father, daddy, and take care of me. And he does so beautifully. Beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, Epic Conquerors, we want to thank you so much for listening and working through these podcasts with us, giving us something to think about and chew on because it's good to meditate on the word of the Lord and always has fresh revelation for us, which is something I love too about God and sharing it with people so that they too can just saturate themselves in the word of God and draw strength from it for their everyday issues that they face. Cause we're all going to face stuff, <laughs> but oh, yeah. God is in it with us. Yeah. So that's good. So it Basically, comes to that time. Face it as a community. We're going to face it as a community, a family of epic conquerors, more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Ooh, I love it. Okay, it's time for us to say ciao for now. We'll see you next time. Mondays and Fridays, episodes drop, and we'll see you there. All right, ciao for now. Ciao for now.